So I know I made a video like a week ago titled Bleach Brave Burnout or whatever, whatever, BBS Burnout. I don't even remember what the fucking title was, but basically in that video, I was like, yo, I'm burnt out on BBS. There's really nothing I care about in the game, yada, yada, yada. They, I don't want to summon on any banners. I don't really feel like doing my dailies, you know, blah, 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 blah. I made that video and then K-Lab says, hey, this guy clearly doesn't want to play our game. So let's go back and let's listen to what characters he wants to see in the game so we can bring him back to the game. And I guess they stumbled upon a video of mine saying that I wanted Masaki. I wanted past Ishin. I wanted white. I wanted, I just wanted those three characters. And lo and behold, we got two of the three, but hey, it's fine. We got Thousand Year Blower round 13. And oh man, I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy because I want it past Masaki. I want it Ishin. I don't really care about Ryukin. I I mean, but it makes sense that he's here. So I guess we'll get another banner with like past Kaname or past uh Aizen with like white or something like that. I don't know. But I'm happy. I'm happy that this is round 13. I'm gonna summon on this and then I might just take a break again. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys some more Bleach Brave Souls here on the channel. It's been a while since I've uploaded Brave Souls, I know. Um, I don't completely hate the game, I just hate how K-Lab treats the game and like their player base, but you know, it's whatever. Anyways, we're here to talk about these three characters, talk about their kits, all that. I just got home from work, Black Friday, woohoo, and um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about these characters. I wanna take a look at their solo banners first, then we'll actually take a look at the uh, their kits and everything. I mean, I already looked over their kits and Masaki is actually, I'm really glad she's good, okay? I'm really glad that she is just good, okay? She is literally Tokinata, but better. <laughs> if, if, if you wanna put it that way, you know, she's better because she has built-in Zeta pill. Uh, she has a, I think she has a boosting barrier with enhancer. Um, let's see, you know, guard break, all that, but she has an 80% bruiser, which is way more than Tokinata. Now, Tokinata has a nice killer. He has what, Soul Reaper killer? But I mean, killer doesn't really matter to him. You see, you see what he does without killer. So like Masaki, I mean, even if she has, she has a no affiliation killer, I don't really care for that. But like, actually this is also good because that means that she'll have a floor in Valor and I don't need to get Halloween Riruka anymore. So then if I can just pull Masaki, I'll be fine. I don't know, we'll see how, we'll see, how, we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, so they're the three characters. So <laughs> Ryukin's banner is first and he has, ooh, ooh, okay. So he has, uh, camp, mm, ooh, sorry. That was your Blood War Kenny, uh, uh, Bankai Kenny, which I don't have him. I don't really want him, but he'll be new. Uh, then he has Fierce Battle Kenny, Retsu, and uh, Shinji. I don't really want any of the three, but you know, whatever. Masaki, oh, hers is second? Oh, hers starts around mid-month December though. Oh man, and then she has Thousand Blower Yachiru, don't want her. Uh, Fierce Battle Aizen, don't want him. Uh, Sikisuke and Ikaku, don't, I don't want any of those filler. Like bro, her banner? Her solo banner is terrible for me. <laughs> her solo banner is awful for me. For me anyway, I don't know about for anybody else, but for me, for sure. And then Ishin is gonna have, bruh. Okay, Ishin's banner is kinda, damn. Okay, so, okay. Red suit, she's really good. She's really good. Fierce Battle Ichigo, he's really good. Uh, Past Shinji. I mean, it makes sense that he's on the banner, I guess. And then Kayan, <sighs> I hate, I hate seeing this Kayan. I really do, but <laughs> it makes sense that he's on Ishin's banner because Ishin, Shiba, Kayan, Shiba, you know, they're family, they're related in some way, shape, or form. So it, it makes sense. I don't want to see Kayan here, but it makes sense why he's here. So it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual details of these characters. And obviously we'll take a look at soul decks information and all of that. Um, so let's see, Ishin Shiba, man, I'm just so happy that he's in the game. 
oh, I'm happy that he's in the game and I'm happy that Masaki is in the game. I am, I am excited. I am very, very excited. Anyways, uh, Ishin is a melee strong attack character with a hollow killer ability. He comes with both the read, uh, hollow dodges. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and poison immunity innate abilities built in uh at five star ah man this me <laughs> okay 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 i like bro that inherent not inherited zone that um transcendent zone or whatever the hell it was with the all the hoagies that shit was annoying like i can auto it perfectly fine with oetsu but like that shit is annoying. Like, can you imagine clicking your strong attack and not hitting anything, even though you clearly hit them, but you didn't actually hit them? It's, it's annoying. Anyways, all of his attacks have a chance to inflict burn, combined with his frenzy, 20% having and two second debilitator skills. This makes him capable of burning enemies over a wide area. Come on, I need some new text, K-Lab. That's not all though. He can also unlock the team party speed attribute captain strong attack damage plus 20% skill that increases the strong attack damage of any speed attribute captains in the same party, uh, same team or party as Ishin by 20%. Um, it doesn't stack, blah, 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 blah. We already know that. Um, I'm trying to think of any like recent captains, speed captains that we got that would uh, benefit from that. Um, not sure. Don't really too much care to be equally honest with you, but you know, cool. Uh, Masaki. Ah, here we go. The lady of the hour. Uh, see, Masaki is a ranged normal attack character with a no affiliation killer ability. Normally, I would be like gross, but actually, first of all, no, that's not gross at all because she'll be really, really good. She'll be really nice for um for guild quest. I mean, I haven't done my guild quest in like a month. But I mean, you know, just in case I feel like doing them again, she's here, right? Uh, let's see. She comes with the freeze immunity innate skill built in at five star, making her very useful in quests with a lot of freeze inducing enemies or hazards. Literally a lot of no affiliation. Um, a lot of no affiliation areas have like freeze shits all over the place. So that's good. Uh, her second strong attack is a combined barrier and boost technique, which combined with her enhancer and flurry skills makes her makes her uh, capable of dealing extreme damage from uh, a position of safety. Ooh, that's, 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 that seems like new text. Uh, her other unlockable skills include poise, a 60 bruiser, technically it's an 80 bruiser, uh, guard break and hit hidden enemies, meaning there is almost no escape from her normal attack barrage. Yeah, almost. Obviously, if you take her into areas that have enemies that can dodge you, then yeah, she'll miss. But otherwise, she's literally Tokinata, but better because she has a higher bruiser um, and she has a built-in Zeta pill and she has a boost barrier, which like, I mean, he has a boost, but she has a barrier. So like, this is good. Like, bro, Masaki is amazing. I am, so, I'm so glad they made her good. Cause if they made her garbage, I would have still summoned, but whatever, it's fine. And then we got Ryukin. Uh, Ryukin is a ranged uh, strong attack character with a solar killer ability. Uh, uh, Ryukin is a ranged strong attack powerhouse. Okay. Uh, <laughs> his unlockable skills include Frenzy, 20% Havoc, 60% Berserker, and an increase to his reduced strong attack cooldown soul trait to four, uh, minus 14%. He can also unlock Nullify Range Resistance 100%, which means that his attacks ignore range attack resistance. I mean, yes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Ah, these descriptions are just bad sometimes. <laughs> Cause it just they just repeat themselves. That's all they do. I don't I don't know, man. It's whatever. So this is the banner. Whew. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be real honest with you. First of all, thank you, K Lab, for putting past Thousand Blood War characters in the main banner and in and, and in the solo banners. Thank you, because we have rounds two and four in this entire thing. That's good. That's great. That is phenomenal. Because for one, round four treated me like absolute poopy butt. So I don't have Kisuke, Yoruichi, or Yuha. I don't have any of them, right? I only got Ichigo. Now, Ichigo was like the one of the ones that I wanted the most anyway, but he's the only one that I got. So that's great. Um, the last five yeah no i okay 
I don't need Tosh. I don't need Nell. I definitely do not need Shunsui. I don't need uh, Sajin and Chad. He ain't, he wouldn't be bad to have because I could just five of five him and all that, right? Woo. But don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. So I probably shouldn't go in on this main banner if I'm just going for Masaki. But I kind of want Ishin as well. And I don't really feel like waiting like a month to summon. So I'm not. So I'm going to summon here. And whatever happens, happens. I just whatever. Uh, how many steps is this? Oh, it's a 20 step banner. Well, I ain't got enough for 20 steps. So y'all can go fuck yourselves there. Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see. So Ishin, man, this is this is great. This is Masaki, bruh. Masaki, let's go. <laughs> Woo, man. Ah, uh, and then once this banner goes, I go again. <laughs> <laughs> I might I might take a little break. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But anyways, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at the um soul decks information. And it looks like no Masaki is gonna be first. We're gonna take a look at Masaki, bro, because Masaki is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, here we go. So uh Masaki, 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 ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Uh, so yeah, six, no, 50 Berserker, 60 Bruiser. Technically, it's an 80 Bruiser because she has a normal attack damage link of 20%, which she gets, obviously. Uh, let's see, Enhancer, Flurry, Guard Break, Hit Hidden Enemy, um, Poise, and Sprinter. So let's see her strong attacks, which I really don't so much care about strong attacks, but you know, whatever, we're gonna look at them anyway. Uh, so Shave first, so Range Collision first. Um, Distant? Mm, a distant AOE second, 800. Okay, but it's a barrier and uh, boost. And then her third is full screen. Literally, don't really care. Don't care. But uh, alternative, same attribute, uh, attribute, same killer. I literally only have one of these characters. And if I get Masaki, I will not need Ruruka whatsoever. I'm excited. Please, game. Please, <laughs> I just, I need Masaki, bro. I need Masaki. I, I actually do need her though. I mean, I could just use Uryu on that Valor floor like I always do, but I don't really want to. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll take a look at boy Ishin, Bro, this art is really nice. Like Ishin is looking really fucking cool. I like this. Um, Ishin. Let's see. So his strong attack one is a beam. <laughs> Let's go. So beam first, 960 distant second, and then full screen third. Uh, let's see. Alternatives. Oh, he boosts Biakia. Right. Right. He boosts Biak. Oh, man. That's what I like to see. I don't even have this Biak, though. I'm so sad. <laughs> I mean, he's coming back on the selection banner, but. My luck with the selection banner is never really good. So, you know, it's, it's whatever, right? And then we got the boy Ryukin. I don't know, Ryukin might just be a link for me. Who knows, let's see. I mean, he has, let's see, beam first. Yeah, oh gosh, like, yeah, yeah, beam first. Wait, he has a, oh, he has that same kind of beam. It's a, it's a square, it's basically a square. He has that same kind of beam that swimsuit Apache has. I think, let me see, let me see. Similarity, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, he has that really uh, freaky square beam, okay. And then his second is range collision. I don't even know what that is. It doesn't even look. Let's see the similarities. Um... Oh, ew, oh, okay, I know what it is. I, know, I don't like that. I don't really like that kind of strong attack, but I think it's good. I think it's supposed to be good in epic raids when you like up on the boss, but other than that, was whatever. And then full screen third. And then, <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, obviously his son. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you know what? I just realized he's a power soul reaper killer, isn't he? Bro, what is up with this game and giving, I don't, I guess he fulfills the, he fills the range human quincy role of it right i mean we got we got nell we got shinji we got this yoruichi we got this hikone and we got 
uh, Lily, whatever. Man, bro, what the hell, dude? Okay, it's whatever. All in all, all in all, I'm uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. Really, just for Masaki, honestly. Uh, let me just see this banner here, and I'm gonna see what happens when I do the first step. Uh, shaft. Bruh, if my step two could be this, I, please, <laughs> I want my step two to be this, this, what? Bruh, cause these are the only two characters I want. These are the only two characters I want. If my step two is not this soul decks, bro, you're lying to me. <laughs> you're lying to me anyways. That is going to go ahead and do it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like down below to show you support all that good stuff in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are summoning. I know some of you guys are actually taking a break from the game as well. Um, I know my boy DJ is taking a break from the game. Um, yeah, let me know all that down in the comments below. If you're new around here, you like Brave Souls, other gotchas like My Hero, uh, Dokkan, whatever else, other gotcha stuff. Uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel. With that, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.